Thanks, Donna, for, for joining me today. All I want to do is just ask you a few questions, you know, just be brutally honest about your experience and we'll take it from there. All right. So if you fancy just doing a little introduction, so who you are, where you're from, what you do, all of that kind of stuff, and then we'll get kicked off. Okay. I am, my name's Donna. I'm 46 years old. I've been a serial yo-yo dieter since I've left school. So for many, many years. And looking back at it, that's shown that it's had a significant impact on my life, not only with confidence, relationships, friendships and everything. Um, so, you know, I needed to do something about it. I live in Derbyshire. I'm not married. I don't have any children. Um, so really, there should be nothing stopping me. It's just myself, really. What was it then that, what was it that you realised you needed help with? Okay, so I, I knew I needed help. I constantly say every year to friends and family, I'm going to be slim this summer. Uh, and it's every Christmas. And do you know what? I could see it in my friends and family's eyes that just, they just didn't really listen to me because they knew it wouldn't happen. And it hasn't happened. People look at me. I do loads of exercise. I'm always on a diet. I've tried every fad diet that you can ever imagine. And it, it, it just, it just, it's got to the stage where it just broke my heart because I knew that they didn't believe me. And to be honest, did I believe myself? I thought I could do it and I was all good intentions of doing it. But come the end of January or, or even not even then, you know, soon after I'm just back into my same routine where I'm not managing or understanding my, how I am with food. And um, what would you then say that over the 90 days that we worked together on, what was your biggest achievement? I have to say that the biggest achievement for me is the fact that I've lost a stone in weight in the 90 days. Mm -hmm. um, it's taken me to a size 12 in clothes, which I just, I couldn't bring myself to go and shop for clothes. And obviously in the climate of today, we're not able to go to the shops, although we are now. So I couldn't even bring myself to order something. And then one of my friends had ordered some clothes and she couldn't get in them. And so I tried them at hers and then uh, realized that yes, I can get a size 12. So I have got that size t um, 12 Ted Baker trousers that I wanted. <laughs> um, hopefully I'm gonna go even smaller, but for yeah. the time being, I've got new jeans, new trousers. Uh, I even got a dress not long ago and you know, and they're all in a size down. But then that actually transpires because that's had a significant impact on my body confidence. And it, I'm not saying I'm there yet because I've still got quite a bit to lose, but I can see a massive difference. And with things that are coming up, um, I've got possibility of promotion ahead. I know in my head and in the way that I feel and look is gonna have a significant impact on that process that I have to go through because I won't be sat there hoping there's a desk there to hide my body when I'm in interview. I won't be sat there worrying that my trousers look too tight or my top pockets are bulging because I can sit there comfortable in what I'm wearing and, and feel that I don't have to be covered up by something which impacts on what's going through your head when you're going through these processes. Oh, what a turnaround, that's amazing. So what was your biggest breakthrough? What was the biggest takeaway for you from working together? Yeah, I'm never going to go on a diet again because yeah. it's not a diet. You don't need to go on a diet. You just need to understand your relationship with, with food and, and your mindset and change that. And the way that you do it with the habit changing is just massive because I, I've done a lot of um, research with other things with regards to leadership and stuff, and it all talks about changing minds, mindset and, and everything. And that is what's going to do. And one of the things that um, I need to, needed to do was instead of keep thinking that these bad diets are going to do it and keep me there, it's, it's a life change. You've got, I've got to live this life but it's not on a diet because I've still been eating chocolate. Um, I've still been having gin. I've still been going to barbecues and, you know, and I have done and I've just had to accommodate that. 
Yeah, that was, I think, when I remember speaking, and it took a wee while for you to get your head around the fact that you didn't need to be eating leaves and dust and yeah. restricting yourself all the time, that actually giving yourself permission to have the things that you actually want to have, because yeah. otherwise you just live a really boring life, like going to a barbecue and not being able to have a gin. Like, how important is that? <laughs> what, um, Donna, what was your biggest challenge through the 90 days? Um, I, I think you've just took, hit the nail <laughs> on the head, really. You know, it, it was giving myself a break because put a lot of pressure on myself because, again, you go through what you're, you're saying. I, haven't, I hadn't told anybody this time because I didn't want that added pressure. Um, and then, obviously, people start to notice and, and, and then that you're losing weight. But I hadn't physically gone, which is what I've done year after year. And I think that was me trying to get a bit of accountability so the breakthrough it for me is not putting that pressure on to eat very little, to not give myself the break and say that I can't eat this because once you start saying that, you want it more and more. So I can, um, and I don't need to starve. You know, I can go, I can. Uh, and another thing, I don't need to be going and doing exercise. I mean, before I was doing this, and, and I know there's been a difference with the lockdown, but I was probably exercising every day and I'd go to two classes in the morning, then I'd go to one mid-morning uh, and then I'd go to work. And, you know, you don't need to be doing that to lose the weight because I've lost a stone with doing, um, not going to the gym at all and doing things at home. Excellent. So finally, what would you say to someone that was thinking about getting in touch or thinking about, you know, working with me? What would be your advice to them? Okay, I, I mean, it's very simple at the end of the day. If you want to become a better you, just do it. I was very skeptical. I even <laughs> questioned your authenticity <laughs> you know, and, the, and the cost. But do you know what? It's been the best money that I've spent because I am telling people now that I'm not going to go back to being that person that I was. I am going to go down on the scales even more uh, or another dress size. But do you know what? If I think about it, I'm a lot happier with myself now than I've ever been. And um, so just don't question it. Do it. Um, she's genuine. She's funny. She's supportive. <laughs> but you tell us how it is. And that's what people need. Um, and listen and do what you're told because that is what makes it happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. Honestly, I do. I think back to where you were. And because you had done so many things that hadn't worked, you had this like very real doubt about how it would work. But that leap of faith, I mean, look at yeah. where you are now. Like, I am so proud of the changes that you've made that haven't been so hard. Like, you still have chocolate in the fridge and gin in the cupboard and being able to live your life and just hearing the change in you week on week in terms of your own yeah. self-belief and what is doable is just incredible to watch. So I am very proud, very proud coach. <laughs> Thank you.